Hello, hello! So, I first twisted my hair Sunday and it is now Friday. So I use the, let me see, I use the Diva Curl, oh you can't even see. Well you've already seen it in the first video so you already know. But this is day five of having the twist and I use this Diva Curl thing. Again, as you can see in the video, when you put it on it feels like a gel. So it was very hard for me to comb through. I honestly, I don't know what this is going to look like right now, but um, I twisted it up. This is what I usually do. So usually I wash my hair on a Sunday. I twist it up and I leave it in the twist and I pin it up so I can go to the gym. I can go out if I want to. Okay, so before I start, I put a little bit of oil and this is just an oil mix that I make. So. I have black seed oil, almond oil, um, vitamin E oil, uh, other oils mixed together. So when I did my hair, I twisted up the ends like little bantu knots. So I'm going through and I'm taking it all out. And you, as you can see, I already have shedding coming out. But I have a Diva Curl appointment coming up. Is it Diva Curl, Diva Cut? I'm not sure the name of the exact brand. Diva Curl is the product that I'm using right now. But I'm getting a Diva Cut coming up soon. So I'm excited for that. Hopefully my hair will not be shedding this badly after, after I do this. Once I get this haircut, we will see the the big difference. So my current problem, I've been natural since the end of high school. It was really random. Um, I just decided I didn't want to get perms anymore and I wanted to travel. It was kind of really hard to think about your hair when you are traveling. So I just decided to go natural and I didn't feel like looking for anyone to do my hair while I was in college. So it was a very easy <laughs> decision. My hair has always been super thick and I would always tell my mom like even if you perm my hair it's gonna feel like it hasn't been permed in a couple of weeks so what's the point? So I just decided to just not perm my hair anymore. I got braids for one last time at the end of high school. After I took it down um, I got cut bangs. It was I don't think it was cute. Like at the moment I thought it was cute, but now that I've seen pictures, I definitely do not think it was cute. And after I got the bangs, I just let my hair grow out. Most of the time I was wearing sew-ins. I wore sew-ins all throughout college and maybe my sophomore year, I decided that I was done with the sew-ins because they were expensive. <laughs> I was broke. I mean, I worked all the time, but I didn't want to spend my money on sew-ins. I wasn't necessarily broke, but sew-ins were out of my budget to do as, um, as often as I honestly wanted to do them. So I started doing my own hair. And what I mean by that is like twist outs. Um, I've braided it myself a couple of times. A couple, I literally mean like two times, a couple of times. <laughs> Braiding is something that I do want to get better with. Oh, that was stupid. When I get distracted and I start pulling it, but yeah. So I started braiding my hair. Um, during the whole transition, like throughout the whole winter time, I would wear beanies a lot. Like I would wear beanies all the time because I didn't really know how to take care of my hair during the beginning stages. So I wore beanies throughout the transition. It was winter time, so that was perfect. I wore beanies throughout the transition and then from there um, I would get braids and I would watch YouTube videos to learn how to like do twist outs and braid outs and all that until I finally found like a method that works for me which are these flat twists or just sometimes um, braid outs. I don't really like braid outs that much anymore but flat twist work out for me and yeah that's what I've been doing until now. But the main reason why I want to get this haircut, 
I got sidetracked. I do that often, you'll notice this. But uh, the main reason why I wanted to get this haircut was because my hair feels like it's been stuck in the same length for forever. So it grew out my dumb ass. I colored my hair by myself with the box um, hair dye. I did it about three times because my hair was super, um, it wasn't really that dark. My hair hasn't been like jet black always. It's always been like slightly, slightly black, slightly brown. But I wanted to dye it red, like a burgundy red where you don't really see it unless the sun hits it. That's what I wanted to do. And after I did that, my hair was like, fallen out a lot like it looked cute and my wash and goes looked really nice but I could tell from that time that's when I lost the most hair so yeah um, right now I'm hoping that the diva curl will help to retain more hair and so that I don't lose that much anymore oh left a pin in there so this is how it looks after I've taken it down Ooh. I will say that it does look more stretched without me like going through and separating. It already does look a little bit more stretched and that's what the product is called, super stretch. So it looks stretched already without me going through, but I'm gonna go ahead and go through it. This is really hard to do because I'm not really staring at the camera, I'm looking at the mirror, so I look like I have problems with my eyes. But yeah, I'm gonna go through pick through to make it look bigger. Favorite thing to do, I do these little two braids on the side. So just because, just because we're using this product, I'm gonna go ahead and use some to smooth down the front. Smooth down the front with it. Like it really does feel like a gel. It looks like a cream, but feels like a gel. And that's, that's like crazy to me right now. Grab a brush. This is my dad's brush. I normally don't use this, but I'm in their bathroom right now. And this is just what's available to me. So, took his brush, brushed down a little, preparing for my little braids. So, I usually do two braids. So one here. I'm trying to move quickly because I have a whole life to live. I ain't got no life to live, but I do have my luggages that are still sitting there. I've been home for, I think, three weeks now. I've been back in Atlanta for three weeks now. I still have my suitcase packed. Plans change. I didn't intend to be here right now. <laughs> Not in the world. <laughs> I didn't intend to be in the US right now, but the world is trying to give me a sign right now. I don't know what the sign is. I'm trying to listen. It needs to speak louder. I can't hear it. But I think that's what's going on right now. Like the world is trying to, <laughs> let me not say the word. I believe God is trying to place me in a position where I am uncomfortable and forced to make some sort of change. So that's where I am right now. I don't know what that change is going to be. I kind of have an idea. I know. But I'm trying to listen louder. I can't really hear. Speak louder. I can't hear you. Speak louder. So I usually do these two braids, uh, twist it around each other, go to, can you see? Go to the sides. I feel like someone is listening to me. No, nope, just my crazy self talking to myself. So I go to the side and then I clip hairpins over here. So 
I do this and I put two hairpins. This is usually my go-to style if I do this is my go-to style if I do um, twist outs or braid outs or stuff like that. Like sometimes I'll do little two bantu knots here or something like that. So fluff it out. Like I said, I don't care if it is frizzy as hell. I'm just trying to get it as big as possible, baby. The bigger the afro, the stronger the... I ain't got no words to rhyme it. We gotta figure out something to rhyme with that. The bigger the afro, I don't know. I'll let y'all work on that. All all three people who will probably watch this. <laughs> okay, so this is kind of how my hair looks now. Go through, pull some more in the front. This is why I need a cut because even my hair in my front now, this is like my bangs were here and now it's here. So my hair needs to be layered. So when I do these side parts, it will lay, it will lay low. But yeah, so yeah, this is my hair now. This is after using the Diva Curl. So I washed, I deep conditioned. After I deep conditioned, I sectioned off, uh, I think six, sectioned off, did a flat twist with this. While I was doing the flat twist again, it was a little difficult to smooth, like smooth, <laughs> to smooth through. And overall, I think I like this product. I like this look. This is like my normal twist out. Nothing special. It does look bigger, a little bigger for day one than usual because day one is usually smaller. But it is a little bigger for day one. I will like to try to use this product for a wash and go because when I was trying to put it on I can tell that it would be good for a wash and go. It definitely clumped, clumped up my hair which makes it harder if you are braiding your hair. So I'll try it for a wash and go. I'll let you know what I think about this. What did I just do? Keep your shoulder stiff. <laughs> but I will let y'all know what I think about this with the wash and go. And that's it. Officially my first video. Hopefully this is not the last. Hopefully I actually edit this. Hopefully I actually post this. Until then, um, what do people say? Like, share, subscribe, I guess. If you want to, if you don't want to, that's okay. I understand. But please, if you want to stick around, see what happens with this channel. So, bye-bye. Uh, rise and shine, gotta get the day started, sun beaming in my face as the blessings keep falling.